Hello everyone and welcome back to Zudlow's Kitchen. Today I'm making a three ingredient meal. Well, it's not really a meal, it's more of a uh, DIY, but with three ingredients. So let's get to cooking. All right, so to begin, we are making homemade coffee creamer. So we have a mason jar right here. This is 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk. I'm just gonna pour that in here like so oh, there goes my cat like always just gonna dump it in here i'm gonna use the whole can i'm trying not to there we go i know it's a lot all right so i can just kind of scrape that now we're going to take some vanilla extract or any extract that you want, that whatever kind of coffee creamer flavor you want. I'm using vanilla because I I use vanilla coffee creamer in my coffee. That or caramel. So we're gonna do, yep, good thing I bought one. All right, so I'm gonna dump that in. One tablespoon of vanilla extract. That's what it calls for. However, I do too. I find that it's actually very good and vanilla-y. So I'm gonna do that. And since it, the first one wasn't really a tablespoon, I'm just gonna do that. There we go. Perfect. Then, we're gonna take some half and half. You could use milk, you could use whatever. And we're going to just pour it in like that, like so. And then I'm gonna go ahead, screw on the lid and shake it up. Really shake it to move the condensed milk and really just shake it, shake it up for about four to five minutes. All right, so I'm making my cup of coffee in my Keurig, and I'm just keep shaking this up. You can hear it. You hear that? That's what we want. So, gonna go ahead. It looks pretty good. As you can see, there's no more, or I should say, there's very less um, sweetened condensed milk that you could see. But shake it up. Shake, 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 shake. Just like that. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're going to, coffee's made, have it there. Got a spoon. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I'll show you what it looks like. Look at that. Smells like vanilla. All right, so before I put that in, I use Splenda, whatever kind of sugar you want. I like my coffee sweet, so I use six Splendas. My dad gives me crap about using all this Splenda, but you know what? I don't really care. All right, so now... What I like to do is take it with the spoon and just kind of dump it in there. All right. I'm just going to mix this up. It'll look like this, as you could see. Now, let's go ahead and taste it. All right, so we already made our coffee and our added the cream, so let's taste this as it's hot. All right, cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, so good. That is so delicious. It it tastes vanilla-y, which I personally like vanilla. Like, I like the vanilla flavor. Um, it, it tastes like actual cream. Like, actual store-bought cream. I find it a little bit better because 
I don't know, it just has those like natural flavors. And if you think about it, it's kind of cheap. You know, you could use milk or you could use half and half. That's what, depending on where you are, two to four dollars, roughly. Uh, a can of sweetened condensed milk is 89 cents. And the only most expensive thing is the, the vanilla. But if you buy a big enough one or whatever kind of extract you want, you can, you know, you save up and just drink it. You know, add that to your coffee, whatnot. I want to try it with the syrups. Have you ever seen the, like, the coffee stir syrups? Like, uh, I don't know what they're called. I'm draw drawing a blank on the name. But I, I want to try that, see if it kind of, like, has the same flavor of extract. But we'll try. We'll try. It could be another video. But... Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember to be the best you can be. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.